Hello, I'm Jennifer Mora, and this project I am doing it on Vincent van Gogh and his post-impressionist life. Specifically on Vincent van Gogh, on his life, schooling, personal problems, and one of his artworks. To start off, Vincent van Gogh is a post-impressionist painter. He was born on March 30th in 1853 in the town of Zentert, Netherlands, which is very close to the Belgian border. He tragically passed away on July 29, 1890 at the age of 37 in France. So this is Zentert. It is a town in the south of Netherlands, in the province of North Brabant. Zentert is the birthplace of post-impressionist painter Vincent van Gogh. So his family, specifically on his parents. He was the oldest child of his siblings of Theodorus van Gogh and Anna Cornelia Carpentes van Gogh. Vincent was born a year after to the exact day of Anna's first pregnancy baby, and it was unfortunately stillborn on March 30th, 1852. Knowing this information definitely caused him psychological problems for him being the quotation marks replacement child for his parents. So onto his family, specifically on his siblings. Four years later, his parents started having five more children. After Vincent was born, Anna Cornelius was born two years later and passed away on 1930. After her, Theodorus, Theo for short, was born in 1857 and passed away in 1891. Next is Elizabeth Huberta. She lived through 1859 through 1936. After Elizabeth, Wilhelmina Will for short, she lived through 1862 through 1941. Last but not least is Cornelius Vincent. He lived through 1867 through 1900. So now I will be talking about his schooling. Throughout his school years, he attended the local village school for academics and the personage for religious education from 1861 until 1864. That same year through 1866, he went to school in Zevenbergen in the Netherlands, where he studied English, French, German, and other classes. As a young boy slash teen, he showed no interest in art, according to an art teacher in that same school. So here are some of his artworks. After much time later, in around 1870-ish, Vincent van Gogh started his art career. He ended up thriving in the art business. In a decade, he created about 2,100 artworks, including around 860 oil paintings, most of which date from the last two years of his life. They include landscapes, still lives, portraits, and self-portraits. During these years, specifically during 1888, he painted one of his most famous paintings, called Café Terrace at Night. Suddenly, he developed severe depression, frustration, and schizophrenia. So now, onto the hospitals. Due to his illness, he was sent to an asylum called Saint Remy de Province, located in southern France. So his letters to Theo, his brother. During his stay here, he would always keep in contact with his brother Theo. They would constantly send each other letters talking about their lives and the things they have been doing. In the letters, Vincent van Gogh seems to show a calmer self. The letters reveal a more complex and captivating personality. He stayed here due to his severe illness. Sadly, the following year in 1890, he passed away in France and was buried right next to his brother, who passed away in 1891. So now on to his most famous artworks. Starting off with one of his most famous art pieces. It is going to be Starry Night. It is an iconic image of modern culture. It exemplifies historical art style in a way that catches the eye of the audience. Starry Night demonstrated his highly engaged understanding of art. In terms of his own picture making practices, Van Gogh's thinking whether articulated pictorially in painting and drawings or verbally in correspondence was fixated on art. The style of painting method Van Gogh painted, this shows lots of expressions. In most of his paintings, he showed lots of emotion. He painted immense sketches of wheat fields under the turbulent skies 
I made a point of trying to express sadness and his extreme loneliness. You can see exactly where he laid a thick layer of paint and the spots where he chose not to. He was known as one of the first ever artists to paint in this style. Even though he hated most of his amazing paintings, he painted and continued to do so. And most of the audience and fans love his artwork, including myself.